Welcome to the office. Hey guys. How you doing, Vincent? Good. I'm good. Welcome to the office, sir. Semi. <clears throat> you're not good. That's why you're here and you have to drive how many hours to see me? Five. Five hours. Okay. Not bad. Two stops, five and a half. And let's go through your case, figure out, and then we've got some other stuff to talk about. Because Vincent was not very keen in the beginning on being here, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. And it's a drive, that's the only reason. And he came because of this lady here. Okay, and uh, we're going to talk about her stuff as well. But right now, it's your time, Vincent. Tell me what's going on. How can I help you? Well, <clears throat> my lower back, I've been going to regular chiropractic. What's regular? So I'm irregular? Once a week. <laughs> huh? <laughs> no. Hey, you've been getting uh, routine adjustment. adjustments. Yes. Okay. But still, it, do it doesn't seem to release my lower back. It's sometimes I can't reach to put on my socks. Now, it's so tight. Okay. Anyone tell you what your issue was? You have x-rays before this? I've had x-rays about three years ago okay. for a whiplash. Okay. That was a car accident? Yes. Okay. Rear-ended. <clears throat> Where are you today? What's going on today? Why did you have, Why did you decide today? Um, because last week I did, you know, I, I did some activities that I should be able to do, and then the next couple of days I, I couldn't touch the floor. Like what? If I dropped. What activities? Well, moving <laughs> couches and... Somebody. Why is he moving couches, lady? <laughs> He's very stubborn. He did it alone. He should have had help. Okay. Uh, but it has to so if I work. dropped something on the floor, I wouldn't have been able to pick it up. Understood. Okay. I couldn't reach. Okay. So because it. of pain or stiffness? Both. Right now, you have shooting pain or local pain? Local. Local, isolated to the back in the center? Yes. Okay. Nothing shooting down your legs? No. Great. Anything shooting up your spine? No. Are you able to find a position of relief at night? <laughs> yes, yeah. it's usually on my side. Right side, left side? It is going to be on my right side, but my left shoulder goes numb. Okay, if you're on your right side? If I'm on my right side, my left shoulder goes numb. And if you go on your left side? Nothing. Your back feels better? You see what I'm saying? No. So you yeah. go on your right, but then your shoulder hurts, and you switch to your left? It doesn't hurt, it just... It just it goes numb. It goes numb. <laughs> well, and you sleep with a numb shoulder? I just sleep better like that until, okay. until, until I, I know my, I don't have any blood in my arm. Okay. Right. And that's why you're here. Anything else? No. Well, my, my neck, every... every I don't know, every week, week and a half, I'll have some tension. I'll have some tension in my neck, you know, because I, okay. I, I wear a hard hat and I'm looking up all the time and I, I rack my head all over. This has been going on for a long, long time. Yeah. He's got a really hard job. Can you tell me the real story? Because he's, he's been going on for a long, long, long time. Out. He was in a, t a teenager. He got in a really bad car accident and he flew out Wait, of... Wait, who are you? I'm his wife. <laughs> okay. um, he flew Why are you in a gown? out because I'm being treated too. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, he got into a very bad car accident. I think okay. teeth got knocked out. He does not work in stretch like he should, really. That's okay. All right. So he got a really hard construction job. Um, he keeps it all inside. He never complains. He never gets it out. He holds it all. Well, because you're the one who's been complaining all these years. Uh, yeah, That's I, why. Well, I could, I naturally complain or else it's going to get worse. Yeah. So he doesn't say anything. But okay. recently, it's. I mean, he can't put his socks on. Okay. It's, now it's now very I'm getting the story. Bad. Okay. It's very bad. Okay. It's really bad. All right. Okay, so all of this is bad enough. The back is hurting. The back is severe enough. You can't tie your shoes. It's limiting quality of life. Are you working right now? Are you able to do work? Yes, I'm... Limited? I'll, I'll, no, I just go. He'll go full throttle no matter how he feels. Understood. Okay. Right. And about 20, 25 years ago, you had that lower back decompression treatment, remember? And that helped? When, uh, yes. Yes, it did. Okay. I pulled my 
right hip. It was winning my right hip at the time, I think. But uh, I went five weeks for decompression. I went uh, off work. I went four days a week. Oh, wow. And the fifth day was uh, massage. And that helped? Yes. Okay. For the hip? Quickly, yes. And, and that was for an injury that you had? It was just all the combined stress in my back. Okay. He's also had a carrying, bad car and carrying he water got heaters total, down the street, six inch cast. A cement iron. truck it's also hit him what, last stuff, two years ago. Stuff like shit. A cement truck. Know. He got total. That was that was bad. I think things really started to go downhill okay. after that. That was okay. a bad one. Okay. That big old truck oh, in the Honda. Yeah. All right. Well, we got some stuff to go over. Why don't we do this for today? Okay. Um, normally we have different x-rays today so normally we have the full analysis with the with the uh, numbers and the analysis uh, that office was closed for now so we have these x-rays to get started on to figure out where we're going to start um, when you guys come back for the follow-up we'll, we'll get those x-rays and we'll do the we'll do more of that pelvic analysis today though we're going to go over some of the stuff on there what we see we'll get right into the exam figure out what we need to do to get you some relief. Okay. This is your side profile. On the side profile, we're going to talk in a lot more detail, but we're designed to have 60 degree reciprocating curves. Do we have our 60 degree curves? No. The second thing we're looking at in this is we're looking at the posture line. And if I run a line from here up, what do we see? that your upper body you carry behind your foundation. So your, from your mid-back, basically from here up, it's sitting behind the foundation in a straight line without the curve. So all that weight and compression is getting, going on where? Your lowest lumbar, your L5 disc. And we're going to talk about the disc in a minute. So. The idea here, the overall, is your discs are still decent going through. We have a little, we have some thinning up here. L5 is thinned. And if I look at the shape of this disc here, I would say 35 years. 30, 35 years ago was a low back injury. Okay? But the good news is you still have good disc there. You still have good discs here. But we have to figure out how you're going to get more movement in your spine and get a little more curve. Okay, mm -hmm. and let's take a look now at your sacrum and low back. And what I want us to see first is this. You can see that this hip is slightly shorter than this hip, yes? You can see this one is a little, the side's a little bit lower than that. Yes. Okay. And you can also see that the sacrum is slightly lower on the left than it is on the right. Okay. Yes? Yes. Okay. And just so you can see this, I'll do it this one as well. Okay? So we can see that we're tilting down on that left side. The good news here is we can see through both your SI joints there. It's a little hazy in there, but I can see through the SI joints clear. What I do see here is we have a little bit of a tilt here at S3 to the left side, so that sacrum is tilting down. I think you can see it better here, probably. It's tilting down a little bit on that left side. As we go up, now let's talk about this. A lot of this is compensation. These are all arthritic hooks. Body's trying to fuse. You can see the concavities of the vertebrae, which tells us what? It tells us that, you know, you've done a lot of heavy work. It's fine. But look, this is all trying to fuse, dude. All this. That's why it's all that stiffness. Look, here, here, here. All right. And then from the mid-back, this is his digestion area. Okay, look. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good news, I can work on six because six, seven is where the fusion starts. Wow. Okay, so I can work on six for his digestion. But what I need you to see here, all of this stuff is all compensation. All of this here, this is all arthritic changes That's here, right? All this, all this. All this, it's all arthritic changes and all wow. of this is coming from his tailbone. So let's get right to it over here and let's zoom in and let's talk about these discs, guys. So when we look at the shape of this disc, 
and we look at the tailbone, you can see these nubs here. Mm -hmm. These nubs here, this was a tailbone injury. Mm -hmm. But the L5 disc, that's separate, that's a good, they said 30, 35 years. What I'm concerned right now, and I have to make sure, hopefully he'll give it to me, that I can get a good set. He's starting to develop, we call this a vacuum sign. It's a, it's a lucency inside the disc. What does that mean? I'll explain it in a second. It's very subtle. It's just starting. Good. Vacuum sign. You can look this up also. Vacuum sign is when it's black in the disc, okay? It's black, starting to get black. It's starting to blacken. It means there's no oxygen and movement there. It means it's dead Necrotic. tissue. Chronic. Been there a long time. Necrotic. So, okay. and I ain't talking about Snoop. So you need to lift up. So we need to get that bone up and moving on the disc we got to pump that quite gotcha. a bit and you're going to have some homework easy stuff the best thing he's going to do is bouncing on that yoga ball every day dude i'm just saying you know, i told him i said do you know why i bounce on the ball every day because it and he feeds makes fun your of you. spine it feeds your spine and he, he makes fun like of you he looks at me like i'm crazy it feeds your spine it also feeds your brain Mira, so it's the same thing. Five is to five is less. Four tilted. Three is starting to fuse. Two. All this is trying to fuse. So, the take home message here is: we're working on your tailbone and L five. Okay. Yes. I got to get movement in your L five for things to move. Now let's get to this neck and talk about it because same things happening here. Two, three, four. C five is starting to get arthritis. C six is starting to fuse as well. But you have good disc there. I'm hoping I can get through it, start getting through it. Let me show you a little closer, okay? So you see this here? This is calcification here, here. That's your old whiplash. These are older injuries. These are 15, 20 years, 15 years. Maybe more, okay. yeah. yeah. This, uh... It's not a recent injury, for sure. Right. Okay. Now, the good news is, the good news is, you still have good discs. So we're happy with that. The take home message here with him is number one is um, foundation. Number two is digestion. Here's another tidbit of information for you guys. The average American or Western diet, when I graduated chiropractic college 20 years ago, the average American, American Western diet, passes away with 15 pounds of undigested red meat in their gut. Today, it is 35 pounds of undigested meat. So I'm not telling you not to eat it, but the key is portion. The body can only digest, absorb, and assimilate four, to four ounces max of protein, animal protein. And we're all eating our eight, 10, 12, 14 ounce, you know, all that fun stuff. So I'm not telling you not to eat the meat. I'm telling you to do the portions. The portions are the key. Okay, and let's look at his gut, okay? All of this we were talking about, this is all undigested food. This is gas being produced with undigested food, okay? This is the left side here. The Megan Blasey is almost absent, you know? His heart is good, heart shape is good. I'm more excited about this T6 today and his uh, sacrum, L5. <clears throat> you ready? What city are you guys coming from again? Manteca. Where? Manteca by Modesto. Cow country. Cow country. Cow and almonds. Well, let's see what kind of what kind of walk you got. Let's walk. Now you got a little bit of that left strut going on. No problem. Keep walking. Three, four times. He walks with both his feet pointing out. He's been doing that for a long time now. Uh, not it's not feet. I can tell him by his it's walk. It's not as bad as it used to be. What? The pronation. I'm not talking about the pronation. I'm talking about the external yes. foot flares. Yes. The way he walks is He's had that for a while? Yes. Since you were married? Oh, yeah. My question is, you've been walking with both feet out for how long? Not the pronation part. Since you were a kid, you remember it? Yes, at least, yeah. You remember since you were a kid? Teenager for sure, yes. Yes? Yes. Okay, so we got to I mean, I used to walk like that. Okay, but now you, I walk like that, and I should walk like this. Correct. <laughs> but this has been going on since you were a kid, since high school. Yes. There's an answer there. That's why I'm asking. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, cool. Keep walking, please. I'm going to give you some more answers.
You can see a little short leg, but the main thing is I'm seeing that little... Come over here, man. You can see it. Watch his dimples. Check it out. Right here. They should go up and down. What does he do? Shifts to that left side. The left one doesn't move very much. Correct. He's got a little left side hustle. Keep walking, please. <laughs> and then you see a little choppy. So that's why the right side concave that's all trying to go Correct. over here. Correct. And, and, okay. it's, and it's choppy, right? He's mm -hmm. got, he doesn't have that smooth walk. Keep going. Yeah, he's walk like that. I can tell his walk from a long way away. Got yeah. it. Okay. Come over here, sir. Let's take a look. So one of the things, and it is possible like this, Whenever someone says bilateral or someone is walking toe out, and I've talked about this before, bilateral toe out is an upper, potential upper cervical. Bilateral toe in, pigeon toe, usually a sacrum issue. Okay? Now, if we look at his neck here, I just picked up another thing. I don't know until we examine, but I'm just telling you what I kind of see here. He's got a reverse curve in his neck. Mm -hmm. That atlas should angle with it. It's still stuck up. So he has a potential hiding up there of an mm -hmm. atlas that could have happened way back when that started this whole process, which is a little different from me normally saying it about the mm -hmm. tailbone. Is it possible that that could fix the upper? Both. Both. Yeah. But that's not just doing that. Yes, we still have to do this. Okay, let's get started. Let's run the meter on his back, starting at the base of the neck. Let's see what we find. And the first thing we get is... Hiding on the left. Hiding up on the left. <laughs> 15 points right there. So look, it looks like it's going to break a little, but it didn't. It just kept going. Go. Do that again. Tricky. Up top. See one left side. Do 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 do. Ch ch T six. There it is. in the low low an L5 an L5 disc that looked like that is not going to produce a big reading like that an L5 disc that looks like that is going to give you a small reading the fact that we're getting a big reading tells us what it's more sacrum yeah have some basement issues we got the basement <laughs> we got the mid and we got but we definitely got the penthouse feet together sir Scoot forward, feet together, open and close your knees, open and close, open and close. Right side only, left side only. I mean, they're both stuck. Right side, left side. I mean, they're both stuck. Scoot back for me, please. Let's do static palpation. Steelers, huh? Yes. All right. <laughs> new uh, old school Steelers. New era. Well, well, is it a new team now? New era? Yeah. A new quarterback. Who's their quarterback? Kenny Pickett. Yeah. Out of uh, Pitt Panthers last year. Two. Candy. Three. Five. Tender there? Yeah, a little. Six. Tender. More tender there. Yeah. Then there? Yes. Six. Okay. All right. Well, back slowly towards me, sir. Oh. That's five. Want to see a grown man cry? He cries all the time. Five. Sacrum. More here? No, it's not that Or way. more here? There. Oh. That's well, not bad. Not as bad. That one? Yeah. Yeah. One more time, sir. Sorry, I got it. That's all right. Right there. Yes. L5. Got this boy sweating. I'm telling you. Five, six. Lanes, but I see that face a lot. Now I know 
When you make that face that you're really Sit hurting. back for me, please. Interesting. Interesting. You see what I'm doing to you, sir? Right there. That's the one. You have a C6, C7, but you have a C1, and C6 didn't show up on the on the meter C1 did. So today, we're going to do C1. We're going to do L5 and get it started. Okay? You ready for me? There's only one thing. Can you handle the Bentley or we need to go get the Corvette? Let's, I think let's go, uh, let's go step it up. You know, step it up, get, get on, on that Bentley. Bentley. Let's do yeah. it. Okay, so come over here. We're actually going to go on the gray table first and let's do your atlas. Ma'am, you can come help. Turn your head to the left. Left hand here. Turn your, let go, I'm not, I don't need you on this one. Turn this way. Turn a little more. There you go. Relax the shoulders, relax everything into the table. Gotcha. That's a piece. I, I gotta be quick with it. He ain't gonna get it's it. It's so funny. I just have, if you say, what three words do you hate when Dr. Ray says? That's a piece. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why is that? Because you're coming back for the rest of it. Come on, right over here. Uh, we need that. That's what we like the home run. He's for sure. Is that what he said? But hold on. So, hold on. Hold on, guys. So I say home runs a lot. Yes, a home run is showing the bone the way home. That's what it means to me. But uh, somebody, one of our one of our Gonset guys, wrote a wrote a, a blog. It was really cute on uh, base hits, and it's you know wow. We get we always looking for the home runs. Base hits are just as important, and yes, they are. That's true. But I like the home run. <laughs> Left. Gotcha. That was a different set. That was an old set. Lock it off, sir. Good stuff. That was a clunk. That actually set in there. We didn't get a big crack on that. No. You felt that, yeah? Yes. Yeah. It was different, dude. Wow, you a little different, different. Right? I didn't touch your little back yet, did I? Wow. He's tripping. It feels a little smooth. You walk different. You know who he reminds me of this case? Not that it's the same, but it, it's kind of in the in terms of the adjustment. Jose. Jose! Hi, Jose. Keep walking. Okay, this is just here. You know, Jose came with his wife. Is the older man? Yeah. I, he, he, I was crying for him. I was so happy for him. He made such great progress. Yeah. Last visit he, he came, we, we didn't film you. it. His hands are doing all I, this. I know, I was, I was really happy. And we're hoping to get tacos next visit. <laughs> he said he's going to make me tacos. Keep on. <laughs> so he reminds me of that because by doing his upper cervical, his walk has changed. I know, it, yes. I've, mm. One more time. For yes. 32 <laughs> years, and I've never seen you walk like that, ever. Like what? <laughs> like normal. <laughs> Why is I'm bringing gossip back. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, All right, let's okay. see. If we, let's see if we can go on the Bentley. Oh. L five. We're gonna do it a little different. We're gonna use some switches. You got switches. Say if I do it there, it's too high. That's getting easier. There you go. Chest a tiny bit higher, sir. Go up a little bit more. That's it. Tummy all the way down, sir. Down. Bring your belly button up and down. Up and down. Up and down. I think we're good, dude. And that's the home run, baby. Woo -wee. Let it out. Damn. Step away from the vehicle, sir. My hand is here for you if you need it. He's like, hell no. Brother. Nice. I got you, <laughs> I got you though. Walk it off, please. Walk. I got you, brother. I got you. 
Told you you're going to see a grown man cry, but it's, it's a good cry. It's a good cry. Just keep walking, brother. Keep walking. This may be a first in my office. <laughs> I said, no. maybe. I said maybe, unless you've seen it. I cried it. when you did her. I know. <laughs> that, was, that was a happy, those were more happy and relieved too. You doing okay there right now, sir? Yes. Good. Let's walk it out, shake it out. Shake it out, shake it out. Oh, that's what I, yeah. That's what I came for right there. So what you came for? <laughs> you can't even put on all fours and get cracked. Have a seat. I gotta recheck now. That's the worst of it, okay? No, no, that, that was it. I had that one shot with you. I got that L5. How's that feel right now, sitting? It's fine. It's okay? Yeah. Right now. Let's see what happened. Starting at the base. That was crackalicious. Neck is clear. That actually cleared his mid back. We don't need to touch it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait. What? 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 Ooh. Good. Clear. Check this out. Most important. Check it out. Watch him. Watch him from the front. Okay. Remember his face. Yeah. Check it out. This is five. This is what I adjusted. All the yellow's gone. It looks pink now. It's because I hadn't put on blush in between. <laughs> Senor? Wow. It's Tabien. You look it's really bien. relieved. Right. Mejor? Mucho. Mucho, Senor. Poco. <laughs> I mean, I'm pushing yeah, too, yeah, right? I mean, now. I, I can feel it, but it's But no I'm saying, I'm nowhere. pushing, you're not jumping. There's nowhere to yeah, And it's yeah. moving. Good stuff. May I continue? Yes. <laughs> Ears. <laughs> Shake it off. I have bones in my wrist right there. Just so what? Fused wrist. Oh. Nice. Those are good. On your back, sir. Raise your right leg. About the oh. Drop it down. Raise your left leg. Drop it down. Very nice. Sit down. No skip. I had a little hitch in between my left step. I think. Uh, what do you see? I oh, feel he, he feels much lighter. Lighter. That's the biggest thing. Yeah. Energy. Yeah. Shake the hands, brother. Yeah, he can that deep oh, breath sure. too. Sounds like relief. Squeeze. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Relax there. Squeeze. Questions for me, sir. Ooh. That was your fused wrist. How'd you? <laughs> this thing's been stuck for 20 years. Check it, it out. Yeah. A little different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we got the wrist moving too, okay? <sighs> right. That's called si that. That's called sigh of relief, that dude. Is. Sigh of relief. Questions? When when do you want to see me next? <laughs> as soon as you can get back here. Okay. Okay? Welcome to the office. Thank you. You're welcome.